Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Merkak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great wisdom that rule well. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only God and Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ Ba'ashem is in the name. And Merkak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. Also, Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring this truth for the sake of Yahweh Shem El Shai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and sincerity. Shalom. It's your brother Kodash coming back here with another video to the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem El Shai. And the title of this video, Lord Willow, is going to be a, uh, a dream I had uh, about the chariots. And, um, Pretty much in a dream, I, I was around like people that I knew in the world, people back that I knew back in high school, you know, and um, I was just like dapping up, dapping up everybody, you know, saying what's up, and then uh, and then we, I looked up in the sky and it was just full of chariots, man, you know. I was like, man, y'all see all these chariots. Like, man, chariots ever look at that chariot, look at that chariot. The chariots was there was like zooming by, man. Like it was it was uh it was obvious if you were in the know, it was obvious that that uh that these were chariots, man. You know? And um and after a while they were they were like pointing out chariots, oh, they, oh that's one too. I'm like, nah, that's that's a, that's an airplane, that's an airplane. I'm like, damn, look at that chariot, look at that chariot. Cause the chariots, man, it was Zooming by, and I remember one chariot, uh, one one guy that I knew, uh, that I know back in the world, he saw the chariot, he saw it go down. I was like, Man, you seen that? It went down. He was like, Yeah, it went down. And then, you know, it was just, it was like a, it was like a chariot overflow, man. You know, when I looked up in the sky, it was just, as soon as I looked up, it was just like, Man, this place is, the sky is flooded with chariots tonight. You know, and it just, and then when I woke up, I was like, man, like, really, it's really a privilege to be a part of this truth, to know, to know what the chariots are. You know, those are, those are our way out of here, man. You know, those are our vehicles of salvation, man. Well, we are that number, man, you know? And and nobody did they didn't know what the chariots were, you know. And it was just a blessing to know what the chariots are because these people in the world they don't know what a chariot is. If you say, "Damn, look at that chariot!" and it's a chariot in the sky, they they don't even know like what that word chariot means, like spiritually, you know. They don't know that these are the vehicles of the heavenly Father and His angels, man. Okay. Our Lord is coming back in the on on a chariot, man. He's coming back with the chariots, man. You know, so that dream it just gave me the realization of uh, even the, even the little things with, with, with pointing out chariots, man. All right, that's a privilege, man. These people, in a, uh, even if those that fell out the truth, you know, when they look up in the sky, they probably don't even think about chariots no more. And on their day to day. They're not looking up to see the chariots, man. All right? You know what the scripture says? Uh, this is uh, Luke 21. And I'm going to start at verse 20, 25. It says, And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars. All right? You see, we've seen blood moons. Uh, it was a... Uh, uh, you got... You got the solar eclipse, you know, that, that recently happened. All right. These are the signs on the heaven that, that the Lord, that the Lord is fit to return. It says, and in the stars and upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud, all right, which is a chariot with power 
and great glory. So the Lord is coming back on a chariot, man. Okay. This Lord is coming back uh, with the hosts of the angels and many chariots are going are, are gonna to be upon this earth, man. All right. And not to forget the fathership, man. Okay. He's going to cover the whole face of the earth, man. Every eye shall see him when the Lord returns. It says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh, man. All right. So, hey, we constantly looking up, man. All right. And, hey, recently, every time we, we fellowship around the Akium and we outside, it's a, it's a, it's a chariot. It's a chariot overflow, man. All right. Uh, it's a chariot. Uh, it's a chariot parade. I'm trying to think of like the perfect word, but you know, it's, it's a, it's it's a lot of chariots, man. You know, recently, you know, fellowshipping with brothers, it'd be a lot of chariots out there, man. You know. You know, and and that's our that's our way out of here, man. So the chariots are very uh, are very important. Uh, let me see what it says here. Let me see one second. Let's look up the word chariot here. Strong's G, 3507. Nephele. Nephele. And it says, use of the cloud which led the Israelites in the wilderness. You know, and that's the spirit because I was going to grab that as well. All right. This is uh, Exodus 13. And uh, verse 21, no, give me one second. It says uh, Exodus 13 and, 13 and 21, and the Lord Yahweh went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of a fire to lead them by light to to give them light to go by day and night so the lord he uh led the children of israel through the wilderness all right with the chariot man all right and the chariot was a uh, fire by night so they can uh to give them light so they can see it says he took not he took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar of fire by night from the people from before the people. OK, so these the chariots are very are very important to know about, man. All right. Often referred to as clouds in the scriptures. This is Psalms. Psalms 103. Psalms 104 and three it says who lay up the beams of his chambers in the waters who make it all right so let me read that again uh let me go back to psalms psalms 104 and verse 3 says who left the beams of his chambers in the waters who maketh the clouds his chariots who walketh upon the wings of the wind. You see, the clouds represents the chariots, man. All right? You know, very important to know about the chariots. Okay? All right, because that's how our Lord is going to return. The Lord is coming coming back on a chariot, Revelations 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Okay? And um, 
Let me get uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5. Okay. It says, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. You know, when I was, when I had that dream, you know, in my head, I was like, man, these people don't know. They don't know. I'm talking about the chariots. Like, man, the body of y'all about Shemel Shah, you know, because knowing about the chariots, that's like, that's like milk, you know, when you're in it, when you're in the truth. All right. That's, that's like the basics, you know. So these people, there, these people are, are lost out here, man. You know, it says when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. So these people, they're going to be amazed, all right, amazed. Another word for amazed is fear. They're going to be frightened, man, all right, at the strangeness of his salvation. And why is it going to be strange? Okay, because he's, because it's going to be a, uh, a so-called, quote-unquote, alien invasion, all right? And that word alien goes into the stranger, all right? The angels, they're strangers from this land, all right? You know, so they're going to... Uh, Invade, uh, invade America and, and deliver up the elect. All right, we're going to... The chariots are our way up out of here, man. Okay? It says, And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that he looked for, man. All right, so why is it so far beyond all that he look for? All right, because even though we're telling these people that uh, we're going to be saved via the chariots, so-called UFOs, they, they don't believe it. So once it does happen, it's gonna take it's gonna catch them off guard. All right, but it's not gonna catch us off guard, man. Okay, because we are we are looking for the for these things, man. All right, when we see chairs, we get excited. When they go to, when they see the chairs, they're gonna be frightened. All right, they're like, whoa, what's that? You know? They're gonna be amazed. They're gonna be they're gonna be uh frightened. It says hearts shall fail them. Okay. And um So now let me get First Thessalonians four. And starting at sixteen, it says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the most high, and the dead in the Mashiach shall rise first. So those that are uh those that have died and, and are uh and are a part of the elect, they're going to be risen up first. It says, Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. All right, where what's the clouds? The chariots, man. All right, so the those that are dead in the Mashiach, they're going to be risen up first, and those that are alive and remain through, through Jacob's trouble, all right, they're going to be risen up uh, with, with the rest of the elect, man, in the clouds. It says what? To meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord, man. All right. Hey, the kingdom of heaven, we're going to be able to see Yahweh Shai face to face, man. All right. We're going to be dwelling with the Lord for the, for the rest of eternity, man. Beautiful. All right. It says, wherefore, comfort one another with these words. And this is comfort, man. Knowing this, man. Knowing this is comfort. All right. And you don't want to be ignorant of the chariots, man. That's a very important thing to know about. Sirach or Ecclesiastes 5 and 15, be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. And that's a great matter. To know about the chariots is a great matter, all right? Because that's our way up out of here, man. That's our, those are the vehicles of salvation, man. Huh? Okay? Those are our vehicles of salvation, all right? And we look up our Egyptian draw of nine, man. Those chariots, man, you know, that dream about the chariots, it just makes you... Be, it made me appreciate knowing about the chariots, being in his truth. All right, it's a privilege, man, because these people out here, they're, they're dumbfounded, you know? I remember, man, chariots was in a, uh, ascending up, 30-plus chariots ascending up, seeing it with my own eyes, man, you know? It's very special, man. It's a special thing that we're a part of, and don't take it for granted. All right, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to close with that. Give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, 
Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakak Wadash, to be honest to the apostles and elders, great millstone, that rule well, peace and mercy to the house of David, to the next lesson, I say Shalom, and above Shalom.